Tales, Alex here. We have for you today a Caddis Pupa Fly Tying Tutorial. I'm going to throw up a list of materials that you're going to need to tie this fly. First up the list are Mustad 37160 size 14 hook. I crimped the barb off and a 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead. <laughs> On top of that we're going to use our .015 lead wire and get a few wraps behind that bead. Just do a few. Doesn't need to be a lot. I'm going to helicopter that off. I'm going to break it. Smush that little tag down. Run them right into the back of the bead. Break that off. And voila. Next up we're going to take our Danville's 70 denier 6 aught fly tying thread and we're going to get our fly started. I like to start just behind that, work that in a few paces forward just to lock it in and then come back a few more paces and then we can run it right down and begin tying our body. You want to run this down because of the shape of the hook to about right where the barb should be, the end of the barb. Let's clean off our tag. Next up, we're going to get some ultra fine, I like gold colored wire, and we are going to lock that puppy in there. Now I'm going to run this wire on the underside and run it all the way up to the bead because this is the next step that kind of important to really get that shape of the body like you want. So take that right up over the top of your lead, right behind the bead. Now you could use latex gloves or rubber or rubber bands. I have a big giant sheet of rubber as you can see here and I like to cut strips off of it similar to like rubber bands but a little bit longer or you could take a rubber band and cut it in half if you have a big one. <clears throat> After that I cut a V right in the head and we're gonna wrap it right over the top of the fly that V just helps you get it started get the thread around that and then I like to take it back it builds up your body pre wrapping take that right down to the butt and then we're going to take our thread right back up. I like to focus on this area right here and even that out as best as possible. So you have a nice built thorax. Next up we're going to take our rubber, get this out of our way, and we're going to do some nice even wraps right up the body. I try not to wrap too tight and not too loose either. Oops, I unspun a little bit. I like to really try and get it as even as possible. I try to be as consistent. And boy, am I not doing that. All right. Here we go. way. And already you can see that this fly is really starting to come to life. It's already starting to look like a little pupa. So now I'm going to take my thread and I'm just going to lock that puppy in there. Take our scissors, pull nice and tight, and she will cut for you. Now we're going to take our ribbing, and we're going to counter wrap, and that's going to give it even more of a really buggy looking body. Alright, 
here we're going to tie our fine wire in. I like to do consecutive counter wraps each way. Then I'm going to take a pair of junky old scissors, not my nice fine thread ones, and I'm going to give that a nip. And I'm going to take the butt of these scissors and really tuck that right up and underneath that bead to avoid any type of cutting. Now, <clears throat> this is where, from our list, a uh, really cool and important thing is going to come along. I like to take duck feathers off the rear. And this is what I do believe to be somewhat near CDC material. And we're going to want to pluck this really, really fuzzy stuff off. And we're going to also take our squirrel tail and right on the rear, you could take your fingers and just pull. And as you pull, without needing scissors or anything, you're going to pull this really, really fine, fuzzy stuff out. And that's the stuff we're looking for. <clears throat> then, we're going to put that off to the side. We're going to make a dubbing loop. Just a short one. I have a nice little homemade dubbing loop tool. Alright. We're locked in with that dubbing loop. Let's get our thread up and out of the way. Now we're going to take our blend of CDC style feather, stripped from that, that really nice fuzzy stuff from our squirrel tail, and literally blend it together with our fingers. If you can see that. Just pull and pluck and just work it in with your fingers. You're just going to need a little tiny bit of this, just a pinch. And we're going to stick it right inside of our dubbing loop. I like to just run it down and up a little bit. I'm going to spin my dubbing loop nice and taut. And I am going to work it right into that head. That's going to act like a bunch of little legs for this pupa. Next, I'll drop back in here with my thread and lock off that. Alright, once your dubbing loop is tied in like that, we're just going to clip off the excess. There shouldn't be much. And really try to build up a little cream spot right behind that head of that bead. What that'll do is that'll push that legs right out. A little bit of the tag left from that dubbing loop. Clean that up. Alright. our little barrel knots tied in there. You could clip this bad boy off. Next up we're going to use our ultraviolet glue. If you have a small brush that you like to use you could use that. I actually use just a standard sewing pin to adhere this to there just to get an even coat. So we're going to take our glue we're going to try to push that little legs back now. We don't want to get them caught in the glue. And just do a really fine amount. Just enough to coat the back. That'll cover the body really far. Put our cap back on our glue. Alright, let's take our pin 
and we're just going to pretty much just paint it right around the whole body. A little goes a long way with this stuff. This is also going to give the body a really nice sheen and make it even more lifelike. And the trout will love it. I could guarantee it. Alright. Place that down. Let's hit it with our black light, ultraviolet light. Just for a few seconds, just to cure it. Just about 30 seconds or so. And it is hard as a rock. Let's kill that. And let's pull our beautiful little buggy legs back. And let's show off what we got. That is Trout Tail's version of a caddis pupa. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.